Hey there, buddy, and welcome back to some more auction not included, and welcome back to this mess of a colony. Um, I kind of sat here for a second, I was playing up the episode, I was like, wow, there's a lot of problems. And some of you guys mentioned, hey, you're still doing really well, and I do appreciate that, but I'm still looking at this, I'm like, our dupes are in trouble. And there's a lot of things we need to consider here, so I'm going to go through, kind of like what I do for every episode, I'm going to go through my initial thoughts of what this episode is going to be like. And then I'm going to try to do as much as I can, uh, but I'm going to try to prioritize what I think is the most important things. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into planning. First, power. Power is an issue. We have these two wheels. I was thinking about doing this makeshift spawn up here, but honestly, this is a waste of time and resources. Uh, this thing, I've decided that it is not going to work. Uh, and you guys have kind of, you kind of have mentioned that, hey, this is not really going to be an efficient setup. And it's really, you really need to set up in the ice bomb and probably do something like that. So... My initial thought process is, is we're going to try to set this thing up because even if this doesn't power the base right here, these two hydrogen generators, they will at least take some of the the, the uh, kind, of <clears throat> kind of the strain on our power grid. Now, we do have these oxygen diffusers, but they do take a good bit of power. They take up what I think they take. Let's take a look at our power grid. They take 120 watts each. That's not great. That's that's pretty bad on our power grid. And we just don't have enough generation to do that. Uh, we could have some power up here and, you know, our dupes will work harder, but we're going to need a third wheel. Uh, third wheel is going to have to happen. Over here, I'm going to build out a pathway and I'm going to actually go through this room right here. I'm going to kind of fill it out and make this just a place where my dupes can walk through and build out our main spawn here. It's going to be probably a half spawn for right now, but I think right now we'll be okay not having to make do a makeshift one. If we do a makeshift one, I may make it down here and just do like a simple one um that i've seen before so that's kind of the power oxygen situation we don't have enough power to do our incubators which is bad we need these eggs going as soon as possible we do have our ranches filling out but we need to take this area out and start making more ranches down here yeah it's once again not a great situation but we're going to figure it out we just need to get rid of this water and i may drop this water honestly uh drop it and just go ahead and build out honestly we can build over over it and then once again just try to find a way to sweep it up or mop it up or do something. I don't know. We need to find a way for us to build a second hatchery here. A ranch. Um, we'll have to dig up some of this ab abyssal light, which should be okay. We look at the heat here. We'll have to be build it out of um, insulated tiles, but that's okay. So that's the plan for that. We need to get our water situation fixed. A spawn is out of the question right now just due to our water issue. We have no water because of my mishap down here. We need to pump it or get our dips to pump it up here. We do have water generation with a salt, uh, cool salt slush geyser and this, so we can either heat this up up here or cool this down up here or do both. We can have a mixing tank probably. Um, I believe if you do a salt, if you do like a salt uh, conversion, I think it turns into regular water. I'm pretty sure. I don't think it turns into polluted water. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. We'll figure it out down the line and I can adjust as needed. Um, but we want to make sure that we get this water cooled down so we can take both these waters and we can actually just kind of cool them, put them in a the tank and they should cancel out. So we're going to have like a major water tank over here somewhere, but we'll, we'll I don't know, they're, they're very far away from each other. So it's going to be difficult to kind of cool them down the way I want to. We do have some other geysers here. We don't know what they are. This could be easily a hot geyser or, you know, we have some uranium down here. We have a geyser right there. We have a geyser right. Oh, I thought we had another one over here. Uh, maybe I was wrong, uh, but we have a couple more geysers we haven't uncovered yet. But that is our water situation. Like, right, like I said, right now a spawn is out of the question. We don't have the water for that. Uh, we are trying to get our water system, our bathroom system set up. I'm going to try to finish this up so you guys stop peeing in the floor. I do not appreciate that, but I understand that, you know, these bathrooms have to be cleaned up. And so, yeah, that is the current situation of the colony. That is what we're working with. And that's what I'm going to try to fix today. So buckle up. Grab a bag of popcorn and see if I can save this failure of a colony. So anyway, the first thing we're going to work on is power. So let's go ahead and turn on. Oh, geez. I want to go ahead and get sweep jobs fixed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say two and I'm going to put these as two. And what I'm going to do is make sure I don't hit that center part. And we're just going to go down and reassign those as two. That's too much liquid. That's fine. That's not even sweep. That's mop because I know what I'm doing. So we're going to grab that and we're going to say, hey, all those are two. And then we're going to go on this side and make sure we go up, go down. And that is all two as well. OK, great. That should be priority uh, two on our sweep jobs. Now, I noticed that we have some auction here and I forgot that you guys actually won't really work on this unless I hit a dig. So I'm going to dig there. I don't know why, but hopefully you guys will fix that for me. But we're going to go ahead and play. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop. I'm going to cancel all of this 
and then you guys are just gonna leave this alone. Where are you guys going? Okay, no, 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 don't focus on this. This is not, this is not y'all's priority at the moment. Uh, cancel all of this. I don't care. You guys go back in here and don't die. We have a lot of hypothermia. We're losing cal calories. It's just a mess, I tell you. Just a mess. Uh, so we have no one operating right now, which is not great. Uh, so we need to make sure these are priority nine. Um, if these need to be done, do them, please. Our operators need to get up there and handle that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw another manual generator down. So they're producing even more power. And then we're probably going to get some smart batteries going once I have the refined metal. Refined metal is also one of our weak spots right now. And we just we need a ton of it. But we don't have a good way to refine it. Because if we want to refine it in a better way, we either need smooth hatches, which may not be a bad idea. Or we need to get a... Um, we need to go and get our furnace set up, which is going to be over here somewhere because of how hot that thing gets. But yeah, that's where our current situation is. I'm going to say micro mushers, they're going to be eights for anyone operating because I believe you guys say that these things are operation only, which does make sense. I want this tile of mop right here. I want this to be per like uh, get that out of there, please mop that bottle of water up and mop that one up. And then our other issue is auction generation. So you can see here we're generating auction. The problem, and you guys mentioned this, is that our pressure is not pushing this down far enough. You can see that it's slightly getting there, but we're, that's why this is so bad. Is because our pressure of oxygen is just terrible. Also, why? I guess we need oxygen up here. We need airflow. Okay, so let's fix that issue. Airflow tiles. Um, let's get some more of these down here. I'm gonna put some there, 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 and those are gonna that'll bring the airflow down, and hopefully fix that. So hostile buffalo is putting in liquid pipes. And you guys are getting hyperthermia because there's just pee everywhere. Just pee everywhere. Ah, oh, such an issue. Um, lullabies, if these can be lullabied, lullaby them. And let's make sure this hatch has been lullabied. It has not, which is not good, but we're out of power, so this job is going to keep being reset. So I'm going to keep resetting this timer until I see it get lullabied. Um, and we also really, just to save you guys from dying of hypothermia, get this done, please. I would love to have that swept up. Uh, yeah. And then also to save you guys some time, let's go ahead and say eight when everyone gets that done. I want these built out. That way there uh, is a better morale bonus here and you guys are producing more energy. So that'd be good. All right, Ecord, hug that egg. You hug that egg, Ecord. You hug that egg. All right, so now that one is incubated. We can say, hey, this one can turn off. So honestly, probably putting this at a point one. It's probably gonna be better and I'm gonna reset this one so that we know that it can be worked on once this one is done incubating. I don't know if that's gonna give them enough time. And yeah, we're out of power again, so that's fun. You guys are mopping up, which is great. All right, that incubator's going. Once this one's done, I, like I said, I don't know if that's enough time, but 60 seconds, I think you guys mentioned 60 seconds should be decent. So I'm gonna let that one hit 60 seconds. Okay, and we can go ahead and turn this timer on because this one has been incubated. So let's say 0.1. There we go, 60 seconds. And this is these are priority nines. Like the, our ranchers should be doing like hugging these eggs, no problem. Uh, Ecord is building. Let me take a look at his priorities. His ranching should be yeah. His ranching should be priority number one. Are these not ranching? Are these operating instead? I wouldn't think so. Unless someone hugs that egg real quick. I'm gonna restart, uh, restart, or move E cord so he resets his priority. Come on, E cord. What are you doing, bud? I need you to go here. Go hug that egg. Go hug that egg. Okay, we're out of power. Oh, yeah. Okay, so is. So this is the problem. We don't have enough of this, so these guys aren't able to hug the eggs. All right, come on, come on, E cord. Hug that egg. No, no, no. I need you to hug the egg. Ah. I'm gonna reset this timer so that egg gets, uh, it gets hugged. Once again, our power's done. Yeah, we're just not charging these batteries up. I need this built up ASAP if we can. Uh, let's take a look at our oxygen. Oxygen's looking better. We're getting there. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, really, honestly, we need to get these swept up too. So I'm going to say, hey, sweep this up if you can. That is a need to do. And once we get this system running, I just need to put some water in it and it'll kind of take care of itself for a little bit, but then it'll get back up, which I need to keep an eye on. And then we'll have to dump that excess dirty water somewhere to use pumping water. That's good. Danzy's getting research done, which is also good. Power is 
like I said, power is just awful right now. But, come on. I don't think we have the wire set up either. Okay, automation's good there. Uh, where's our wire power? No, that wire is set up. No, it's not. Ah, come on, guys, build this. Right there. Put that wire up for me. We gotta watch out for the off-gassing. I, I can't control the... I, I probably could dump this polluted water somewhere. Um, we do need to... Ugh, all this carbon dioxide that escaped because of this. Ah, oh, and there's, carbon, uh, there's chlorine in here. Ah, it's just everywhere. Everything's a problem. Uh, where can I put this bad water? Not really sure at the moment. I'm not going to worry about it too badly. You guys should be fine. One person's only sick. Okay, good. See, that's not hooked up either. That's okay. We just need to make sure these are hooked up so that this light is working. Yeah, and the, we, we just are not generating enough power. Um, and honestly, we need to go ahead and get some oxygen generation or uh, ventilation up here. No, there's no ventilation that helps us. Hmm. Seems we have run into several issues. I don't want to make sure that we have a ability to get across there. So I'm going to work on getting some of this done and I'll I'll report back if something exciting happens. OK, so run into a problem. Circuit overloaded. Uh, we need to get things. Either we need to do better wiring, which we are researching. Or we need to get things on different circuits or disable some buildings. Uh, we have some light bulbs that are active. I've tried to automate as much as I can here, but unfortunately, these oxygen generators, while they're good and this, the thing that was good about the, the spawn is that it self generates oxygen for us. And it's off our power grid. So to save our power grid, we have tons of algae, though. I mean, if you look at our algae, 37.2 tons. I mean, that's great. Uh, but we the, the wheels and the amount of things we're having to power is bad, and we already really need to consider getting things on separate grids. So we might need to get transformers and do that. I don't know the best way to do that yet. I think maybe conductive wiring, even though it costs refined metal. May, it's a really tough call for me right now, so I have to, I'm, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do here. We have this pump set up. It's not working at the moment, so that's good. But this thing up here takes a lot. These, you know, these hold 140 joules. Um, these take about 240 watt right there. And they're not all active, which is good. Um, this one provides 800 watts. I mean, we could go ahead and use some of this hydrogen here if we really wanted to. We could go ahead and use some of it. Um, yeah, I, I got to think about this. So I'm going to, I may start working on getting our, maybe a basic spawn going just for the sake of getting some of our power grid off. I don't know yet. Um, but I think maybe getting some separate places for power would be best. Or at least setting up different grids here. Because, you know, the light takes up 10, 10 watts is not nothing. Um, I mean, it looks like our power grid is OK right now. So if we turn on, yeah, it only we only have brownouts every once in a while. I mean, the grill only takes up a little bit. We're not researching at the moment. That's not hooked up. OK, so the incubator turned off. The incubator is only going to be on every once in a while. And as long as they have the lullaby buff, I'm OK. We're about to add another incubator, so that could be dangerous. But yeah, we're going to see how much refined metal these cost us down here. Let's see. Connect to the power sources can be run through wall floor and tile. Let's see. I want to can't look at them yet. I want to see if those conductive wiring will help us at all. Uh, OK, that one's done. Good. Uh, all right, cool. So yeah, that's where we're at currently with power. Once again, we're barely generating enough. Um, we really need another operator to kind of handle that. Let's take a look at our priorities real quick. So bubbles, bubbles doesn't have anything. Uh, bubbles is going to be our uh, is going to be another rancher at one point. But I'm going to just put her in operating. Operating, we need a lot of that. So bubbles is going to operate when she can. Uh, I do want to look at my schedules too. Uh, we need to make sure we have a rancher in both schedules, which we do. Very good. So they'll be available to. Take care of the eggs if needed. There's only, I think, one point where they're not both available, which I think should be fine uh, with the egg schedule that we have. Uh, we really need to get this handled. I need to I need to empty a lot of these bottles out um, because we are we do have a lot of polluted auction. You can see here that we've got a lot of polluted auction just kind of hanging around the base, which is unfortunate. This guy is not working. Why are you not working? A wedding delivery. Uh, these need to be nines. I'm these are nines as well. If you can deliver to those, deliver to them, if all possible. That would be wonderful. Also, something is being swept in here, and I really hope it's not this thing. I'm going to cancel all sweep jobs in here. 
that that's just an endless loop of pain for our duplicates. Just having to redo this over and over and over. Also, okay, good. Those aren't powered. Okay, cool. Well, we're we're a little we're doing a little better. There's not a lot of oxygen here, and that's why I put some airflow tiles, uh, so that the the airflow will be a little bit better. You can see there's a lot of there's actually polluted oxygen here, which is interesting. Oh, because of the yeah the bottle. So I think what I'm going to work on next is just having a little polluted, uh, a little kind of dirty water dump. And I think I might put it over here, just like a little one. Um, I don't want to free that gas, though. So we need to figure out where to put some dirty water. We can honestly just have like a biome over here and dump it in here. Uh, honestly, could probably exit out of here. Maybe I don't want to kill my my nature reserve, though, which if I'm looking at rooms, I'll make sure all my rooms are intact. They are, which is good. We do need to turn this a power room. And I don't... Do I have the ability to make that yet? No, that's what we're working on currently. Danzy is focusing on getting this done. Oh, actually, no. Where is it? Oh, no, we do have the ability. That's a station. Wait a minute. Does that need to be powered? Control station. When you refine metals. Produces microchip to increase power output of generators. Assigned duplicates must possess tune-up trait. This building is necessary to... Yes. Yes, this thing. We need more. We need more material. I know Hitch is working on that. So we need a, we need the material for our uh, hatcheries and our sensors. Uh, do I have enough for this automation to complete? No, I don't. We have no. We have no refined metal, which is bad. Um, I'm gonna say that refined metal is a nine as well. So I know I've got nines all over the place, but at least I've done at least the jobs I think are most important. All right, Daisy finished our research, which is good. We have conductive wiring now, which will make a uh, decor bonus a little bit better and also um, help with our power because these have a little bit more resistance. Can I use fossil fuels? Let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, game colony summary. We want to look at super sustainable. Nope, natural. Okay, so natural gas, petroleum, wood burner, and coal generator are nothing we can use. And we're only at 4,300. Oh, man. And that spawn will still count, even if it's only doing our oxygen generators. So I might I might start thinking about that. Maybe let's do the basic one. Because if it's in a cold area, we don't have to worry about using materials. Yes. Yes? Maybe. And the reason that you guys had to stop is because you can't breathe on this. So, yeah, our oxygen flow is not good here. So what I need to do is I need to get an airflow tile under you guys. And just have it have it kind of go into our hatcheries and it'll it'll, it'll fix itself. It'll be fine. Um, I'm going to go and dig out this because I do want to turn this into a hatch area at some point. Um, I noticed that the auto bottle is not. I'm going to put that as a six. I'm going to say, hey, if we can get some water auto bottled, that would be great. We have that sweep job. You guys got the polluted water. We need to get rid of the polluted oxygen at some point. It's okay if you breathe it in, but I don't need that to be a permanent thing that you guys are doing. I can make a polluted a water dump here and do something with it at some point. Because I think we can use polluted water up here. And, mm, okay. I'm going to do some thinking, and then I'll come back to you guys when I have some semblance of a plan. Okay, I think our plumbing is done. And I think we're able to snip this, and it's a self-sustaining system now. I think. Maybe. If I did this wrong, you guys let me know, but I'm pretty sure we can use polluted water as this, and it's fine. I could be completely wrong. But I'm pretty sure that I was able to, you're able to make an infinite loop of this. Oh, I know you need a water seep to do this. Polluted water, yeah, you need a water seep to actually... Yeah, that's how that worked. Right. Um, let me do some research real quick. OK, let me explain what I decided to do here. And it's going to be a little silly for a while until I can figure out what I want to do. And I know this isn't really going to matter, but I'm going to uh, let me just walk you through the process here. So I'm going to let my dupes work at one time speed. So what I've got here, if you look at the plumbing overlay, is a little system that I like to call Stapes' hodgepodge water filtration system. There you go. Um, so looking at the plumbing system here, we've got a couple of things. Bad water comes in, goes down here, comes to the water sieve, goes to the water sieve, and we're going to need a sand filtration medium, but then it comes up. It's going to clear out and get clean water. It's going to go up here, and then it's going to go across this liquid bridge, and it's going to go up and provide water for all of our s stations in here. Okay. Now, what I did is, if you don't know what bridges do here, 
Bridges will always prioritize this part first right here. And then if there's any overflow, this is going to go down like here, up, around and out wherever you put it. Now, the reason why I did this is because this is going to be germy water when it comes out. Water sieve do not clean the water from germs. It'll still be germy. And what we don't want is germy water going into our main system for right now. If, it, if it's something that you don't absolutely have to worry about that I tend to worry about too much, but I'm going to try because we do have chlorine. Chlorine's right here. We have plenty of chlorine. So I could fill this room with chlorine, clean this water out, or, you know, actually get some, you know, just liquid. Honestly, what I could do is just have like some liquid. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. Now I think about it. Sorry, I know I was explaining to you guys, but I, I just had an epiphany of what I could do with this. Um, so like any dirty water that we have come through here, we can put it in this system and clean it. Uh, so like, you know, we could put a polluted water thing that go into the system and go through a water sieve and any excess water goes out here and cleans itself through these water tanks. Honestly, I could put like a, a lock here, a liquid lock. And ah, these require power, though, don't they? If I look at plumbing, is it plumbing or do I have those yet? Hang on, let's take a look. So what I'm, what I'm referring to here is let me find them. Uh, we're referring to ooh, smelting would be great. Uh, yeah, we really need smelting. Um, what I'm referring to here, where is it? I know it's here. I need the water storage. Do you already have it? Am I thinking too hard about this? Where is it? That's gases, liquids. Here we go. Yeah, so this liquid reservoir. So this guy, it stores any liquid resources piped into it. So what we could do is we could have that in here. And was I done doing that other research? I don't think I was. Was that him with the power? I think so. Yes, we were. Okay, good. Uh, so what we could do is we could pump water through liquid reservoirs through here and have this chlorine gas in this room and clean our water for us. This is a long term plan by, you know, no means. So I could go ahead and store a bunch of water in here and that would be fine. But this is a this is a way to future proof this. So I eventually can vacuum proof this or vacuum this out. So I'm going to cancel this, actually. And it won't overflow for a little bit. We'll be fine for a tiny bit, but we're eventually going to want to have our liquid storage here. And then we can pump the, our clean water back into our, li our liquid reservoir tank here. I think this is a good plan for me, at least. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this, but we can take some of this chlorine, put it in this room and then have a way to clean our water with chlorine. Uh, I think radiation also does the job, so we can actually use radiation if possible. I believe I could be wrong. But I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about that plan. That's kind of my short term plan for this at the moment. Um, our dupes are not feeling great, um, but I noticed that you guys were using the bathroom when you shouldn't have been using the bathroom. And so, yeah, we're trying to get that wrapped up. Um, so hopefully I'll have that done and we can actually have the dupes a place to use the bathroom. Anyway, just want to tell you my plan with this. You guys let me know what you think. I'm going to go back and make sure our colony's not on fire. Also, I just want to report we have some adorable baby hatches now. It, it's this is coming along nicely. Uh, this is the first hatch we're going to eat right here. The sage hatch. I anytime we have a sage hatch, we're just going to start eating it. Uh, once they hatch, we're just going to say, hey, this is going to be fodder for, uh, you know, starting our carnivore achievement and starting at cycle 30. I feel pretty good about. But we have a new printing pod. So let's check out what we got here. Someone used the bathroom in my face again. <sighs> you got to stop that. I mean, I understand it's it's. It's my fault. I, I really do understand. But, you know, come on, you can do better. Uh, Kevin, Kevin has an up, uh, upgrade skill. He can do super hard digging. I don't know if I'm going to do that for Kevin yet. I'm going to do improved carrying. Improved carrying is just super good. Uh, Tiu can do researching. She can help Dan Danzy with researching. I'm just going to have. I'm going to have just basic researching for her at the moment, and then I think we're going to get her improved carrying as well. Carrying is super handy, and I'm just I'm I really feel like we need that. OK, we have Drecklet. I don't know if I'm going to go for this yet. I don't think I'm going to go for this yet. Uh, we do have a, another agricultural husbandry here. Uh, so farmer slash uh, rancher. I don't think we need another one right now. We may need another machinery. Pity machine operation speed, engine tune up effect duration. Uh, that would be decent. Uh, decreased husbandry, which would not be good for our ranching, but that's OK. Decreased bathroom use speed. Uh, that's not too bad. But we have no food really to speak of. We really need another cook. Um. We could start farming Drekos, but they are kind of difficult, and I don't know if I just want to focus on them right now. We could I, I know it's terrible. But we can just literally get it to eat it. But we don't know if we have Drekos in this area yet either. 
I don't think I have enough food to support another dupe right now. We need to get our food going again. Once we get the locavore achievement, we can start farming, but... I'm not gonna go for the suit. I feel like it's a waste. Um... Uh, and you get the morning attribute bonus too. Am I gonna take another dupe? I don't think I need to take another dupe. I think that's gonna be a death sentence for this colony. We're already at 1900 kilocalories up there. I'm gonna be terrible. I'm gonna print this Draco and I'm gonna eat it. I know that's terrible. I it's it's cute, it's adorable, but we I, I'm gonna start working on it. I'm sorry. It's just it has to be done. Okay, so that Draco's gonna get killed, and we're gonna be able to cook it. Um, someone's gonna come down here and attack this poor critter. I guess. Oh, come on, Dark Souls, go use the bathroom. I don't need people peeing everywhere. Oh, and this is slowing you guys down from going in here. Maybe I don't need to do that. There's no reason for them to wash their hands in here. Also, do we have? Okay, yeah, we have this this effect on, which is good. I actually may just do that. I don't think there's any reason for them to wash their hands going in here. Okay, uh, have we killed the Dreklet? Where's the Dreklet? I think we may have killed the Dreklet. No, where's the Dreklet at? Oh, there he is. Yeah, someone attack him when you can, and then we'll make food out of him. I'm gonna put that as a six. Say, hey, go ahead and attack him if you can. I really hate that I have to kill that guy, but... Alright, so we're producing more ore, which is good. Now, for more ore, we have conductive wiring, which is how much per? Okay, 25 per. So we can go ahead and somewhat do this. I might do conductive wiring to the, the hatcheries. But we only have 50 kg of copper. This thing is a waste. We really need to get the furnaces going, too. But hey, our batteries are full at this point, um, which is great. All right, so this is a heavy lullaby. Great. That one's a lullaby. This was incubating, so once this one's on its timer, I'm gonna restart this one. Okay, 58. Okay, restart the timer on that one. Very good, so that one can go get incubated. Perfect. All right, so hopefully one of my ranchers comes up there and does that. We have another hatch coming out of the uh, incubator, which is great. Uh, which means we're in a new egg here. Very good. Okay, we're doing great on that end. Uh, can we cook that meat yet? Have we killed? No, we haven't. Where is it? Oh, Draco. Oh, yeah, there you are. Someone will eventually attack that guy. I don't, do we have anyone to attack? <laughs> no, we don't. Uh, it's you. I'm sorry, but I'm you're you're doing you and Kevin are attacking if you can. Combat. All right. Someone's about to kill this poor Dreklet. I, I really don't want to do this, but. Bye, Dreklet. Thank you for your sacrifice. All right, so now we have Drecklet meat. Uh, we can go make some barbecue. Uh, go ahead and do produce barbecue forever. Uh, and then let's go ahead and say consumables. Do not consume raw meat. Do not. No one consume raw meat. We need to cook that. Okay. So that's going to be, I'm going to say that's probably, if you can cook, do that, but operate these as well. We really need people cooking for 5,000 kilocalories. Who else do we have cooking at the moment? Uh, cooking. We have Meep. If he can't, then yeah, we definitely we need another cook for sure. Um, yeah, we really need more dupes in all honesty. All right, so this system is working. Oh, no, it's not because I have to power it. Oh, more power. Yuck. OK, that's OK. It's not OK, is it? It's definitely not okay. I might use some of this conductive wiring to help this system out. We may do it on our main power spine here. Okay, so we have 17,000 kilojoules of power in there. That's good. Uh, potential power consume must be built in unoccupied. Oh, wait, we can't upgrade on top. We have to deconstruct our other wiring. Real. Oh, no, there we go. We just don't have a ton of refined metal either. All right, let's take a look at our power grid. Uh, what can we turn off? How is our oxygen doing? Oxygen is better. It's not good. Yeah, this dust really needs to be. And also, this needs to be fixed. Yeah, okay. So our circuits are overloading, which is not great. Our oxygen is getting better. Okay, so our carbon dioxide is not a problem anymore. 
great. Uh, good to hear on that end. We need to power this guy so that our water can start working. We have a ton of this dirty water we need to empty out. Which I need to put it somewhere near here, I think. I think over here is probably going to be our best bet. Have like a little dirty water tank that we can... It doesn't have to be big. It just has to be enough to handle the dirty water that we have. I think I might put it down here. Then we have like our water loop or something like that. Uh, we need to make sure that we would have a one of these nearby to another deodorizer because we just we have nowhere to empty those bottles. I can seal it off somewhere. We did free some of this oxygen up here, which is good. Um, we have some dirty water over there. We could empty out right here. I think I might do that. It's just working on that. I want this meat. I want that. S I want this to be used if possible. If you can barbecue, barbecue. I think that's what we need to do there. Also, I'm realizing this isn't working. Oh, because he's out of the range. Oh, uh, I could I could flip this. I could deconstruct and flip it. I'm going to actually deconstruct this and actually flip it around if we can. Um, He's got mush far eye. Is there a way for me to prioritize barbecue meat? <gasps> Wait, what? Meat's right there. It's unrefrigerated. Uh, sweep this, please. Make that actually like a nine to sweep that. That meat needs to be put away. Okay, Dirk Souls is getting that. We don't need that meat to be wasted at all. We need to make sure that's cooked. Oh, Dirk Souls just went ahead and stored it in the electric grill. And then hopefully Evan will cook that up for us and then we'll eat that. All right, cool. Now then, mush bars, uh, food, micro musher. Can I flip this around? I can't. OK, hmm. We'll stick with one and see if we can deal with that. But we're definitely going to need more people cooking. One person operating this thing and one person like cooking mush fry and stuff like that. OK, well, I'm going to go try to figure out our dirty water because it's off putting a lot of polluted oxygen. Um, we need to find a place to put that. So I'm going to work on that for a minute. OK, one thing I didn't realize is that this is actually not our kitchen. I think it's because this is in here and I think this counts as um, I think this counts as machinery. So we need to actually put this somewhere else. And I think I might move it to the top so our oxygen is falling down. So I might put it in probably put it next to our incubators or something or honestly right here. This is this is just a giant room, so we could put an oxygen. Well, no, actually, there we have an oxygen generator right there. Um, hmm. Well, we can go and see if we can deal with the extra oxygen generator. We might be OK with two. This one is producing and it may Oxygen will fall down. This oxygen is not really flowing anywhere either, so we need to make sure we have the airflow tiles that help this oxygen flow out. Uh, yeah, and we also probably just need we need better airflow. Um, kind of what I'm doing is kind of just putting airflow tiles, kind of where it can go up and down. So, you know, we have that 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 uh, airflow with that. Uh, but I need to move this thing. This thing needs to be deconstructed, and I'm going to make that a priority as soon as we can, uh, just because it's hindering our cooking, which is not great. Uh, what I could do is put an oxygen generator up here. Uh, we can put it in our. Um, what's it called? Our nature reserve up here and oxygen can fall down there or we can just put it up here on this side and it'll kind of fall down through this way. Uh, really, honestly, need to have some over here. Uh, so I might put it up here in this bedroom for right now. That way it just kind of flows down. Uh, that sounds pretty good to me. So let's do that. I have that one down here. This one will produce oxygen and everyone should be fine that way. Uh, but yeah, once, once again, want to deconstruct this one uh, because it is missing up our room and we can check. We can have this one deactivated and see how well it does, because our power is just it's not doing good. It's once again, we have to get our power fixed and we didn't need we need more refined metal. Um, I know you guys are doing as best you can on that. Um, and honestly, I could probably give you some better operating speed with a light. Which makes me think I should probably put something over here for you. I don't know. I, it's it's a tough it's a tough call. I'm having a bunch of tough calls right now. But yeah, once again, I haven't fixed our pee problem uh, to put our polluted water in. So I'm going to try to figure that out. So I'm going to do that. Great news. We actually have a power plant now. We don't have to use this thing right now, but the power plant will help us produce more energy. Um, so our guys are probably spending less time on this and more times, you know, making making power for us and doing other things. So we're going to get more refined metal. And I think we're going to get some smart batteries here. I think we're OK on the eggs. Uh, we have, you know, we're still producing eggs. 
but our hatch ranches are getting pretty full. We can go ahead and start make, uh, eating any leftovers we have, but I want to get as many as I can, uh, which means I need to get rid of this area and kind of build out another ranch, unfortunately. Um, cause I mean, we're going to start getting full on ranches and we have eggs that are just doing nothing. Um, I would like to get this built out if we can just have another, uh, have another, another incubator going for us. That would be wondrous. Um, but we're still having power problems. I still haven't made anything, any progress on our polluted water thing. So yeah, it's still working on that. Okay, I just want to do a quick colony update for you. There's a lot of things going on. We've got our first water tank going over here and our cycle here. We also have a little morb friend. Um, I'm going to kill it. I don't see any reason I need to have morbs right now. Uh, this toilet has been out of commission, and honestly, I need to get rid of these and start cycling in our new stuff, so I'm going to do that. Uh, I still haven't got my stuff to dump off dirty water. Uh, you're probably thinking, like, hey, what have you been doing? And, you know, yeah, I've been thinking and going back and forth a lot. I've been an hour into this recording so far, and, yeah, just a lot going on. But I'm trying to get our water thing set up. Um, we've also started eating barbecue. Uh, we've killed off some of our older hatches because I don't have another hatch ranch to store more hatches, so we're going to go ahead and start eating some barbecue so you can see if we look at our colony summary we're doing it we're 4,000 calories in and i think someone just ate some more so i think he was actually eating some of our barbecue which is even better i can see that we have 248 grams in here and people are eating it which is amazing so we are on our way to work on the um the carnivore achievement um i also did some research for fixing up a spice grinder because this is what's missing uh for our little uh kitchen here so we're gonna go ahead and get that set up and i'm also gonna go ahead and get rid of all this stuff and make this a proper uh dining hall this it's not a proper dining hall and it desperately needs to be so i'm gonna go and fix that so that you guys feel good about coming in here but the colony's running well uh, i just wanted to do a quick little update for you guys so you guys know what was going on uh we are doing okay on our hatches we're gonna keep doing uh, we're going to keep putting as many incubators as we can. I don't know if this is going to be enough or if we need to make another row somewhere. Uh, but we are on our way. So, yeah, progress has been made. Let's uh, let's go for a little bit longer and uh, I'll come back when I've got more to show you. OK, I just want to bring you all back real quick. We have a new achievement, so let's go and see what that is. We have unlocked Royal Flush. Replace all the outhouses and wash basins in your colony with lavatories and sinks. And we have a proper washroom for our dupes now. We have proper plumbing. We're feeling okay. We're in cycle 30 right now, and we're doing pretty decently, I would like to think. Uh, we still have some more incubators and stuff going, but uh, we'll get there. I am working towards getting this initial spawn area set up. Um, I, I'm going to do that off to the side for a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's going to be useful or not, but we're going to try our best to make it useful. Uh, but I also want to make our refiner over here. We might use some of this liquid brine to do that. I may have to make like a brine solutions. I, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll get something going. Um, I'm kind of waiting for this guy down here to stifle itself so I can kind of actually get down here. Uh, it's got a lot of water. You can see this is really hot water. We'll need to cool it down somehow, uh, which but somehow is probably up here dropping this water. Honestly, I might just have a tank drop down here and bring it. I, I really don't know yet. I'm, I'm going to try to figure out the best I can. I was hoping there might be something cold down here for us to use, um, but we're not really sure yet. We can go and see what this thing is. And honestly, might go explore and see what that is, because we definitely we really need to explore. We haven't explored uh, quite enough, in all honesty. Uh, but if I open up this pocket here, it's going to get all this hot air and we're going to burn to death. Uh, so we got to be careful going into there. But I do want to know what that is, but it's behind some abyssal light. So we got to be careful about that. Uh, but yeah, we really got to find some way to cool this off because we need, really need some permanent water. Uh, we could use some aqua tuners, but uh, we just we don't have the power at the moment. We desperately, desperately need to get uh, the power achievement, and that's going to be a while. Um, so we're just we're going to rely on our love. Oh, we actually are out of power. No one is currently generating power. Starvation. Everyone's starving. I know we've got food. You guys can go. Eat. Do we really not have any food? Oh, it says we have calories. Evan's just he can't keep up with the cooking, unfortunately. We might need two grills. I'm not sure. But anyway, one, two, I bring you guys for the achievement and kind of what's going on. Uh, Dirk Souls is starving. Hopefully he doesn't die. Uh, we desperately need him. Where are you at on your calories? Oh, yeah, buddy, go get you some food. OK, yeah, he's got some food. Good. All right, cool. Oh, boy. Yeah, we need to start. We need to start moving. Oh, we got another hatch. Very good. OK, so uh, I'm going to keep working on that. I uh, keep producing as much as I can. And yeah, we'll see what we get to. Uh, I am working on getting some conductive wiring going just to hopefully ease up some of our power pains. But I don't really know if that's going to help all that much. But, you know, we'll probably have to set up some um, some uh, what are they what are they called? I can't even think of my head. 
Some power transformers. We're gonna have to probably set these guys up and have separate power grids. So yeah, I'm gonna probably redo this power grid here uh, in a little bit. Uh, probably actually take all of this and move it. Um, honestly, just deconstruct it, get some of these materials back. Because uh, we're not gonna use it, in all honesty. This is completely useless to us. So I might expand our power area, have some, have this go up. I have all these go up with some heavy wall wiring and then have our transformers kind of send our main power spines. That's might what I tried to do. Don't know, but we'll see. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna work on getting over here so we can actually get a spawn set up. Um, we, we still have plenty of algae, but just so we're not, you know, worrying about power too much, because as you can see, uh, power's not always available to us. We have brownouts here and there, but let's go and select some new research as well. Uh, I think I'm gonna get some auto sweeping so we can actually have our food uh, automatically be put into the fridge if we need to, which I already have auto sweeping, so never mind, I'm a liar. Uh, we could have this conveyor bridge and shoot all that if we really needed to. Uh, I did get smelting at some point, uh, so that we can start uh, doing that uh, once we get into the cold biome. And I think right now there's not a lot for me to focus on. We have what we need primarily. I might go ahead and get this HVAC system uh, so we can go ahead and start storing gases like chlorine so we can actually get chlorine here. Um, but yeah, this whole system setup we look uh, looks good for a little bit. Uh, we don't have to worry about morbs appearing and causing polluted oxygen, but yeah, I'm going to go try to fix up this polluted water situation. We do have some skills. Uh, so let me do that real quick. Let's get Hitch uh, improved carrying so you can start carrying things around more. And then we have Critter Rancher 2 for Ecord. Very good. Uh, our dupe morale is honestly really good. Bubbles is kind of low at the moment, but that's okay. I think Bubbles is a new to the colony. And let's see what we have here. Printables available. Before I go, we have Mirthleaf. Okay, so Mirthleafs are actually going to be good because they can give us some bonus decor. I could get another dupe, but I don't feel confident in my ability to feed them, so I'm not going to do that yet. Um, although there, is there any good ones here? We have free morale bonuses. Uh, no, I'm going to get these mirth leaves because we actually use these for decor. So I'm going to—I know that seems kind of silly, but we don't have mirth leaves, and I don't want to plant, plant briars, and I want to be able to get some more tables in for you guys because I think we have ten dupes: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight tables. So yeah, not the greatest. Uh, we also need to turn this to a grand hall. So if we look here, we have great hall and we have mess hall. We want to turn this into a great hall. So let's do that. Uh, we can put in some more places for you guys to sit. So that is our decor furniture. And then we put a mess table, boom, boom. And then flower pot, boom and boom. And so with the flower pots, you like, hey, wait, stapes, locavore. Uh, no. So locavore, have duplicates consume more than without planting any seeds in planter boxes, farm tiles, or hydroponic farms. That does not count for flower pods, so we're good there. So I'll get some mirthleaf seeds planted in there, and we can have uh, some nice mirthleaf pot planted pods. And I might go ahead and also, is our, I haven't even checked, has our, yeah, okay, this is still good. Okay, yeah, so that's the status of the colony at the moment. I uh, just wanna keep you guys updated and see where we go from there. Okay, guys, I have a skill menu for hostile Buffalo, she is probably going to go right into improved carrying. We just carrying is so important. We have so many carrying jobs around. And I just realized that these are we're producing polluted dirt here because we de uh, deconstructed some things. So I'm trying to get this set up to where we put polluted dirt in here. Uh, so you guys are handling that for me, which is super handy because we do have a little bit of a germ problem. We have some germs floating around. We have plenty of germs floating because of polluted oxygen and all that fun stuff because, you know, I'm still working on getting the polluted oxygen tank care taken care of and well yeah i'm i'll get there at some point we'll, we'll fix it hopefully maybe one day we'll see anyway i'll get back to you guys when something else important happens okay guys to bring you back we have another dupe available to us we can have some skills to go and go through so let's see what we have so we have some salt water not really what i'm interested in uh, we, I do want to consider bringing a new dupe, especially maybe a cook. We do need the extra help. Um, we really need another rancher at this point. I think we, another rancher would be really good to have. Um, now that I say that, but well, we don't seem to have a rancher here for us. We have two cuisine, which would be good for our cooking. Uh, we have some creativity, uh, but decrease construction and decrease creativity. So, uh, I mean, it's plus 12, so it's not that bad. Don't really need it. creativity at the moment though. Uh, morale bonus while in space, so we're not really close to that. So I think maybe we'll go with Amari here. Amari has piloting and strength and cooking, so Amari could help us cook. I think that's going to be a good, decent thing to go with, especially when we have all the barbecue that we need to cook up eventually. So I'm going to get Amari. Um, now that I say that, I really would like uh, someone that could do ranching. 
granted we have bubbles bubbles will eventually do ranching so we can do we make sure our bubbles on that so we'll have amari i don't know why i changed your name there you go amari i'm gonna put amari this could be a terrible mistake but let's go ahead and get amari in here uh we should have a bed ready for amari and we don't have a we don't have a food place for him yet we'll figure that out our dining hall is honestly pretty full we'll have to get another one at some point um, but amari has his initial skill so let's go ahead and get him cooking uh, because he will be helping out with our cooking so bubbles where are you at bubbles what are you doing you're operating so that's you know that's the mush uh mushing so we're gonna make, some, make sure bubbles does uh ranching first uh, so she gets her ranching skill up and then amari will be cooking as well and then we'll do slide on operating too so you'll do the uh the micro mushers um i think that's good for right now i think we'll go ahead and set that up let's give amari his hat uh, make sure everyone has a hat in this colony. Everyone deserves their hat. So grilling. There you go. Enjoy. I'm not focusing on researching at the moment. I want Danzy doing other things. She can help out around the colony. Uh, I don't need to focus on really anything at the moment. We just need to kind of deal with what we've got. Uh, we're out of eggs. I didn't think I would ever say that, but yeah, our hatches aren't laying eggs as fast as I need them to, um, which is not great, which means I need to get this other hatch ranch going ASAP uh, so we can actually get more hatches. We haven't found any more hatches, which is unfortunate. Uh, I would really like to have those as soon as I can, but uh, I can't can't have everything at once, can I? Um, I we are working slowly towards this. Uh, you guys are getting me a little bit in here, which is good. And then we can set up our spawn and we can see that we're hitting the edge of the asteroid. So we're actually not going to be able to build a spawn over here. We'll have to build it up or something. I don't know. We're going to have to figure out how to do this. Probably have to build it up here or something like that. Go up and have it uh, situated up here. And then we can have all that hydrogen gas flow up and maybe make a pit. We'll figure that out and then we can probably deconstruct a lot of this and drop this down here and we have what is this biobot builder uses zombie spores and steel to craft biofield machines that can sit into hostile environments defunct biobots drop harvestable steel allows a skill to begin to manufacture a steady supply of icky yet effective biobots okay i don't know if we're going to be using that but i think that's part of the story stuff also new duplicate skill uh bubbles great Bubbles can help with ranching. Perfect. Bubbles is going to go with ranching and help uh, these guys keep uh, the hatches groomed. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is preemptively get all this stuff set up down here so we can get our third ranch going. We don't have the ability to do a third ranch yet, but it will be OK. Uh, so we have a bunch of our igneous rock. We have 20 tons of igneous rock. Wow. OK. Cool. Uh, then we want our critter feeder. We'll copy that. Put that down here. And then we'll copy this and put you down here. That way we'll have a critter ranch. Uh, we can go ahead and honestly make this a critter ranch and you guys can still use this um, without much issue. Also, we had some of this fall down here, but that's fine. I, did, I am working on this pit right here where you guys can start dropping off dirty water. And then I'll have like a, I'll have a, uh, what's it called? A, um, a deodorizer to help with that, uh, which means that is not, that is not what I need. Uh, so I'll have a deodorizer here um, that should take care of most of the polluted oxygen that comes out of this. And then we'll have a bottle emptier on this side. And that way you guys can get down here and I don't know, do something hopefully that will uh, be beneficial to the colony. Um, put a pump and maybe pump all this polluted water up here and cycle it through our uh, water right here. That may be the best option uh, for me and it's not going to run all the time. It is going to use up some of our uh, our power but it won't run all the time because we'll dump, you know, a lot of this polluted water down here. So that's the thing, that's the process I'm going to do for it. Um, I really honestly need to focus on my um, my ranches a lot more. Uh, we need to find a lot more hatches. We need to we haven't we've tried to dig up some area, but I haven't found any. Unfortunately, we can go ahead and start digging out this area if we really wanted to. So I, I can just say, hey, dig, Kevin, go explore to your heart's content. Find me them hatches. Of course, I want to probably keep this as a nature preserve so we can open this up and have this like as a morale bonus as people go through here. Um, that would be kind of nice. So I think I might leave that as is and then just dig this area out right below it. Uh, these right here are probably just seeds, so I'm not going to worry about that. But I can go ahead and say, hey, dig out this. Maybe we'll find some hatches. That would be wonderful. So I'm going to just say, hey, Kevin, dig out that if you can. Would greatly appreciate it. And if we do like a ladder like that, Kevin should be able to reach everything. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of just dig all that. Um, like I said, we could probably make this like a nature reserve or something. Um, uh, maybe we'll close this off and have this and you can just run back and forth. That'd be kind of nice. Between these two areas, probably going to have a I'm probably going to put a. Maybe right here 
we'll go up and then right here this will be maybe our oxygen suits and that way you know you guys can go around here or maybe up here this is actually probably a good place for oxygen suits and you guys can go out this way and do that maybe we can turn this to something else i don't know we'll figure it out but we're gonna go and get this ranch set up and uh yeah i'll let you guys know if there's anything else fun going on Okay, all of you have decided to track germs throughout the entire base, and granted, it's probably not your fault, but a lot of germs are throughout the base now, which is very interesting. I don't know how so much of this got disinfect or got infected, but it's like I said, probably somewhat my fault, unfortunately, um, because of you guys working with polluted water so much and everything like that. Germs are just kind of run rampant. Um, granted, it's not terrible but it's not great either uh you know we've had polluted dirt coming from the water sieve and all that and you guys have to go in here and i should probably put a wash basin in here so i'm gonna have to reorganize this at some point uh but yeah germs are a thing food poisoning is a thing it's not gonna be too bad uh we are disinfecting things but you guys are needing to wash your hands Pretty please. Uh, also, we need to like, sweep these things up if possible. Like, I, I would like to get all the polluted water out of the way. It's it's in it's in the way. We need to dump it in this little pit here. Um, it's gonna off gas a lot. And what I can do is put a pump and then actually just send it in this water sieve thing here, and that'll handle it. And we can just store all this water here until we can figure out our um, our germ killing mechanism to put into our actual mainline water tank, which would be amazing. Uh, so that is kind of the status of things at the moment. We have a new duplicate skill. Let's see. We have Danzy who can uh, get a skill up. Uh, we put her in doctoring or we put her in astronomy. I don't think we're going to go for astronomy yet, so I might save her skill points. I'm just going to do supplying because um, caring is just good for everyone for right now. Uh, with Evan, I'm also going to do supplying too. Uh, that way he can move things around rather easily. We are setting up our second hack hatch ranch. Uh, this is outside of a stable. Why is it outside of a stable? What is? Oh, because this is technically right. This is technically closed off. We need to figure out something to do with this water. All right, so I need to fix this stable up. Um, honestly, what I could do is they no one needs to go in here. So I'm probably going to close this off. Of course, I think this still counts as a room, if I'm correct. I think the picture pumps makes this count as a room. I could be wrong, but I'm going to I'm going to say I'm going to build that and see what happens. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and deconstruct these two as well and uh, do that because right now it looks like hitch is supplying water and doing all that fun stuff for us so we do appreciate that from hitch uh so you guys built that uh this does not count as a ranch okay uh maximum room si size yeah so this technically counts towards the room size so what i could do is just drop this water down into here if i really wanted to um it would be kind of difficult but not really all we have to do is dig that out so we can dig we can say dig this space out for us that way you know they don't get you guys don't get attacked by it we can just say hey dig that out and put some ladders here Whoop. let me do it like that and all this will kind of drop into this area we're gonna need to build this out a little bit more kind of make it deeper um or wider we can make it wide just do something like that go towards the abyssal light uh that way you guys can do that uh, I see my cat getting behind my monitor. This is the first time she's done it. It's like when I start talking and not editing anything, she's deciding, hey, I'm going to go back behind your computer and just need attention. Isn't that right, Minna? Yeah. Attention-seeking Minna. But I'm going to go and deconstruct this so we can actually build our um, build our ranch here. There's a ton of polluted uh, oxygen here. We're going to get that fixed. Uh, for metal, for actually, for raw minerals, we want igneous rock, so I'm going to throw that in there. Actually, do we not have an igneous rock? No, we have tons of igneous rock. Yeah, throw that in there. Um, we actually haven't seen a single stone hatch, oddly enough, which is kind of interesting, even though we've been feeding them tons of igneous rock. Uh, you can see we have our sage hatch going there. Uh, no power, because both these activate at the same time. Uh, both of them need to be lullabied, unfortunately. Um, yeah, these these are just not getting lullabied. Uh, Bubbles is having to go over here and kind of help out. Where is Hostile at? What is she doing? Oh, they okay. They're on their, they're on their sleep time. All right, noted. All right, so that one got. Uh, okay, we need to make sure this one turns off soon. These were on the same cycle somehow. Okay, this one didn't incubate, so I'm gonna turn it back on. That's good. Uh, actually, it did get incubated. I didn't get uh, hugged. We need to make sure that eggs hugged. Okay, so that's kind of the cycle. Our eggs are going. We have hatches, which is great. I don't need that hatch to fall in here, so let's gonna close that off real quick. I'm actually just going to go ahead and convert those fully to our new hatch ranch. 
And we have, like I said, a ton of polluted oxygen here, unfortunately. So I'm probably gonna have to put another deodorizer in here for um, for this, because this is just off gassing like crazy, which really, really, really sucks. And this is a oh, this is a lot of polluted gas too. Hmm, not great. Not the best. I'm gonna leave it alone. It's okay. I don't think it's an absolute need outside of stable yet, because we haven't built that yet. Uh, let's make that a priority if you don't mind. Throw it in there. But uh, okay, so our eggs are getting okay. Lullaby, lullaby, incub. Oh wait, no, this one didn't get lullaby. Okay, so once this one's done, I'm gonna reset this one's timer. Oh, okay, this one's timer just started, so that's fine. We let that one get hugged, and then after that one get hugged, and its timer goes off, then we'll reset that timer. Okay, good. We have a system going. I love it. Um, we have eggs. All right, so that means we need another incubator, which means more power draw. Yay! Uh, but this is why we set up this timer system here, so that mo hopefully all of our dupes hit these. And we're uh, able to make sure all the incubators are um, <laughs> are hugged. Is it going to work all the time? Uh, well, we'll see. Also, I think I might be using. Do I need to use a cycle sensor? That's eh, fine. Either either or. Uh, we've got this one working for us. Set the automation up. I'm going to set that as priority nine. I know I'm setting everything to priority nine when I need it. Um, there's some priority eights here and there. Uh, but you can see we have a little bit of water going here. We have this going. I'm going to probably set up a pump for this to fix. But you can see here, everyone, you, you got... Oh, no, save the hatch! Save him! This is, this is an emergency. Save this man! Mood miserable drowning. Top priority. Go get him. <gasps> no! Oh, well, that's free meat. All right, well, sweep that up, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have saved him. Poor guy. Uh... Oh, well, that's OK. Oh, we didn't find any hatches in here, and that's unfortunate. Uh, but we did see there's like some grub fruit plants. We got a desert biome over here. It looks like I think that's desert. Is that desert? I think it is. Yeah. So we got a desert biome, which is probably why it's so hot. We can look at our temperatures. Temperatures are OK. This is producing some. And yeah, this is still kind of being a pain, but that's OK. We got it insulated. Um, base is a little hot, but we'll pump in cold air when we get to it. OK. So, what have we done? Okay, we've got another incubator going up, which is great. So, let's hook this up to power. Go ahead and hook up our power. And, yeah, you can see that I've already started kind of slowly putting conductive wire up, just so our base is a little bit better in terms of doing that. And I've got just bubbles handling that job. Uh, we do now have a ranch here. <gasps> oh, no, did he fall? I thought we had a hatch in here. I guess not. Then uh, I am recording right now. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I guess we unfortunately do not have. I mean, I cannot see my monitor. I love you, little kitty cat, but I need to be able to see so I can record for these nice people. Uh, we want to make sure that we have hatch and. Ooh, wait, what is. Okay, hang on. I, I just want to make sure that we have igneous rock. Igneous rock. There we go. Stone hatch, perfect. So the hatch is like that, and we'll have that set up. Then we'll have our... Also, I think Minna just completely muted my sound. Yeah, she did, okay. I was wondering where my sound went. Uh, hatchling egg, throw that in there. It's not powered up, that's fine. But guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up there. That's two hours of recording for me, so I'm gonna have fun trying to edit this video. Uh, let me know how you think the progress is going. If you think we're kind of behind, or if we're getting okay. I mean, we have... We're at the start of three ranches now. We have plenty of hatches here. Um, once the hatches die, we can start, you know, making them. Oh, actually, these are cramps, so we could probably move one down if we really wanted to, because uh, these hatch eggs are actually. Oh, and that one just wait tamed. OK, yeah, so we tamed a new one. Uh, you guys will put in another egg there for me, hopefully. Yes, maybe. OK, we, we know they're cramps. So let's go ahead and move here. Let's move this one. Actually, no, it should be fine. This egg will get picked up eventually, hopefully by bubbles. Uh, actually, this is a nine, so let's go ahead and say that's a top priority for our ranchers. Okay, so Dark Souls is bringing up there, and are we cramped anymore? No, we are not. Perfect. Okay, so we're good on that. Uh, hopefully that we made some barbecue out of the poor hatch that died down here. I think we did. Maybe? Did we? Hopefully? Yes? Barbecue? Barbecue! All right, very good. So let's look at our current achievements before I end this. So where we're at right now, carnivore, we're at 10,000 kilocalories. 10,000 kilo, 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 uh, cycle 36. We need to produce a lot more meat. We need to start eating. I want to be eating a lot of meat around cycle 50. I think I'll be comfortable there, but I think our progress is OK. We're over halfway through our locavore, so we can start actually getting some proper meals going. And we actually start uh, doing some 
uh, not ranching, but uh, farming, which is going to be good. And then super sustainable, we are only producing 8,200 kilojoules of our 24, uh, 240,000. So that's going to be a while and we're going to have to make sure that this is uh, properly powered. Um, but yeah, guys, that is going to be it for this. We kind of did 10 cycles this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, as always, your feedback is greatly appreciated. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day where it may be. Thank you, as always, for spending some of your time here. And I shall see you in the next episode of Auction Not Included. Bye, everybody.